Hello everybody from the beautiful island of Roatan in Honduras. This is our 17th country together as a family and we are so excited to be here. We've actually been here for a few days and it's absolutely gorgeous. We are staying at a villa with the most amazing views and this island is known for having some of the best snorkeling in the world. It's actually surrounded by a reef that is second largest reef to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. So we are so excited to be here and snorkel and see the nature and just enjoy the beauty of it. And we can't wait to take you along. Just go swimming. Okay, so we're all done snorkeling. The name of that beach was West Bay Beach and we highly recommend it because the water was super clear there and it also wasn't too deep, so it was perfect for baby girl to swim around and see all the fishes. But we've snorkeled so much, now we're starving and we're heading somewhere to get some good lunch. We're now at Sea Witches, which is a restaurant in downtown West Bay. And full disclosure, we've actually eaten here already twice and it's been amazing every time. It's the restaurant with the most vegan options around here. So we're excited to try some new things. Thank you. You're welcome. Ready? I'm gonna show you guys how we're doing lessons on the go for schooling. Um, we're doing months of the year right now, okay? January, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, September, December. Woo! Guys, I was a little bit worried that it was a fluke last night when I said it was one of the best burgers I ever had, but they did it again. I don't know if it's how they're cooking the burger perfectly or the bun, but it's a 10 out of 10. 100! 100 out of 10! 100! Our impression of Rotan so far is really good. It's a super chill, laid back island and it's not very busy, which we love. It's also not very built up. There's not like high rise hotels and like a lot of commercial stuff. So it's definitely our vibe. So basically you're saying it's not Tulum. <laughs> Tiana fell asleep in the car and we just passed a fruit and vegetable market so I'm going to check it out and see if we can get some fresh produce for dinner and breakfast tomorrow. We are back at the villa now and we actually changed bathing suits because Tiana wanted to try out our matching crab set. You've seen us have the matching stripes on so far and now we're in the matching crabs. And you'll see more of these swimsuits throughout the video because we are wearing the collections from Nani. They have minis of these swimsuits, super cute so I can match with Tiana and coordinate. And we absolutely love Nani swimwear. My number one favorite thing is that they're made out of recycled bottles. Another thing is the coverage option. So so as you can see from this and the swimsuit I had on earlier, these are very good for activities while still being flattering. You know we like to swim, snorkel, cliff jump, go on water slides, and I'm sick and tired of worrying about my bathing suit coming up in the back and coming down in the front. Well, when I'm wearing Nani, I feel super confident and secure because I know it's not going anywhere. It's super flattering, it's sporty and cute, so it's really good for anything you wanna do with it. 
and it's very comfortable. Nani also has sizes for everybody ranging from little kids to adults. A few other things that are great about the Nani swimsuits is that they have adjustable straps so you can make them as tight or as loose as you want them. And they also have options for one pieces, two pieces, long sleeves for sun protection or rash guards. Um, I absolutely love my long sleeve top, which serves as a rash guard and as sun protection because the sun is strong here in Honduras, let me tell you. Nani is such a great company to work with. Like I've had an amazing time working with them so far. I absolutely love their products. If you wanna check out Nani for yourself, there's a piece for everybody. I'll put the link in the description down below. I promise you'll love them as much as I do. And on that note, I'm gonna go jump in the pool with the rest of the family. Quack, 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 quack. Good morning, everybody. It's a little bit early and the girls are still asleep, but I thought this would be a perfect time to give you a tour of this beautiful villa that we're staying in. This thing is absolutely incredible. Now, it's a pretty big house. It is three bedrooms, four full baths, and it spans three floors pretty much if you count the rooftop. So right as you enter the house, you're greeted by this beautiful staircase, which leads you up to the second floor, which I'll show you guys in just a second. And then back over to my right, you actually have one of the three bedrooms. Every bedroom has its own ensuite bathroom, which is really nice. And then you also have an additional guest bathroom for downstairs right there. And then that brings us over to the living area, just a really nice chill area to relax in. And then we will swing around to the kitchen and the dining room. Check out this dining room table. It's fully custom. It's actually a map of Roatan itself. And the best part about this table might be the view. That sunrise right there. And then over here you have this super nice kitchen. Rihanna has been loving this kitchen. Look at the size of it. If you like to cook, this is the kitchen for you. And now for probably the coolest part of this house, the outdoor area. Check this out. Off to my right, you got a little cooking area and a bar set up some lounge chairs, and then your view of sunrise out over the infinity pool. And that's just not any infinity pool or a little soaker tub, guys. That thing is 10 feet deep. All right, and now I will actually take you guys back inside and show you the second floor. So you're gonna head up the stairs here, and that's gonna get you to the super nice landing area. Back there, you actually have another bedroom, and then you have a full-size washer and dryer laundry room right there, which also comes in handy. And now we're gonna head into the primary bedroom where Tiana and Rihanna are probably still sound asleep. First, I will show you this huge bathroom, double sinks, huge walk-in shower. This thing is super nice. And then that brings us over here to the bedroom itself. Two sleeping beauties over here, so cute. I think it's so adorable that they have all this bed. It's a king-size bed and Tiana still sleeps right on top of Rihanna. All right, we're almost done, but now I wanna show you probably my favorite part of this house. So in some areas they call this like a crow's nest, call it a rooftop balcony, whatever you wanna call it, it's super cool. Can't say this enough, this place is a 10 out of 10, simply amazing, check this out. I just simply can't say enough good things about this place, it's been absolutely incredible. The management company that's taking care of it, they've been amazing as well. They actually came here on the day we checked in, they walked us around the villa, made sure everything was okay, Okay, asked us if we needed anything, made sure we knew how to use everything in the house, which is exactly the type of service and hospitality you expect when you stay at a place like this. Just cannot recommend it enough. If you guys are ever interested in the places that we're staying at, we always tag them down below in the description. Well, not always, only if they get our stamp of approval. Because guys, if you're watching our video and you come to a place like this, a beautiful place like this, we want you guys to have an amazing time. So we will only share it or talk about it or tag it if we approve it and think you'll like it too. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the tour. Now it's time to go see if Rihanna and Tiana are finally awake. Good morning. We slept so good last night after a day of swimming and now we are having mango that I got at the produce market yesterday for breakfast. Now I know a trick for cutting mango. I'm gonna teach it to you, okay? Okay. Okay, ready? I went way too long not knowing this trick in my life. So we do four. Oh, I stabbed myself. Four slices this way, and then some slices this way. Look like tic toe. It does look like tic tac toe. Whoa! And then yeah. you can just yeah, you can just bite them off now. No, 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 no. Do you want me to cut them off? Okay, you be the official taster. Ready? Good. 
Good. Mm, let me try. <laughs> That's really good mango. There's nothing like mango when you're actually somewhere tropical. We have a lot of adventures planned today, a big day, so I'm glad we got good rest last night, but we are going parasailing at West Bay Beach to start it off. And then we're going across the island to Camp Bay Beach, which is a less busy beach that all the locals said we had to check out. And you always have to listen to local recommendations. Is there anything else you want to do? No. No? Okay, we're going to eat some- Oh, yeah. Pool. Pool, and then we'll finish the day off at the pool. Let's go! to the beach at the perfect time because there's a boat going out right now for parasailing. So we're about to get on with another group. Um, they said right now it's really good in the morning because it's not windy yet and I guess you don't want to go parasailing when it's windy. We're super excited. We have never done parasailing before and it looks a little intense and fun but the water is like super clear so it should be very beautiful views. This is the spot guys. Hello. 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 Okay. Okay, yeah, thank you. What do you think about parasailing? Yeah, we're moving the boat. Uh, balloon? Yeah, we're gonna go high, high in the sky. We're basically going skydiving. Okay, harness, life jacket, if you got a question, just ask him, okay? Give me more than happy to have you with that. Everything's like, this is the best. Amazing. Yeah, you did it, you did it. You did it, yes guys. Alright buddy. Hello guys, this is me, this is Hardy. We were at West Bay Beach, Infinity Bay. I got my boat and this is all of the activity we do. Look us up, you know, I always be in Infinity Bay. We do fishing, snorkeling, and Cayo Pacino. Just take these guys out hair sailing. He was, it was great. Nice. It was so much fun. Yeah. Enjoy, guys. guys. That was a phenomenal experience. Do you like my new adjectives, babe? Yeah, uh, coming up with new ones every day. Yeah. But I think you just stick with super. Super. That was super amazing. And now we're actually headed to get smoothies, coffees, and then hit the road to get to Camp Bay, which is actually on the other side of the island, but it's supposed to be a beautiful drive, so it should be very enjoyable. We stopped at Bean Crazy to get coffees. We actually came here our first day when we weren't filming yet, and it was so good that we came back to get more, and I just saw that they're ready, so let's go grab them. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to lie to you guys, there's a little bit of a bumpy ride to get here. In fact, the last 10 miles or so is just dirt road, but it was totally worth it. Check out this beach. Look how blue that water is, and the best part is, there's hardly anybody here. That's our favorite type of beach. Per usual, Tiana's already found some friends to hang out with. Her little social butterfly. Tiana made some friends. All the kids are here today because they're out of school for the weekend. So she's done with us. How does it feel to be tossed aside? 
I like when she socializes, but I feel like uh, left out. And this right here is why we always try to explore and get off the beaten path so you can find things like this. Absolutely love it here. Is it good? What's up? What's up, boy? Hey, you should watch our YouTube. You watch our YouTube? Uh, thank you so much. Welcome. Hi, I'm Keisha. Hi, I'm Sophia. Hi, hi, I'm Etienne. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a date while Tiana plays with her new friends. I brought those sour strips out. I felt like I got attacked. I had kids all around me. You can't bring candy around a bunch of kids and not expect to give it all away. Yeah, I was all worried about like if they had allergies or something. They also seem to be running around just fine, so I think we're okay. I said, don't worry, it's just sugar and nobody's allergic to sugar, so. Is that true? Good. Is that a fact? I'm, well, maybe diabetic, so that's not technically an allergy. Thanks. Who, him? Yeah, that's my husband pretending Ooh. he's a shark in the ocean. I'm pretty tired now. I think I'll go home now. <sighs> Being a shark is tough. Are y'all not scared? No. Are you not scared at Well, we made it home. It's been a few hours. We've showered, we've eaten, and now we are watching a movie in bed. What are we watching? Sonic. Sonic 2. Sonic 2. We've already watched Sonic 1, now we're watching Sonic 2. Tiana's already planning for Sonic 3, but we do not have TVs in our bedroom at home, so this is like a little special treat to be able to watch a movie in bed. It almost, almost makes me want a TV in our room. Almost, but I think that's a very bad idea. <laughs> yeah, we won't do it, but it is nice and relaxing. So we're gonna finish up Sonic, get some rest, and then get ready for our last full day on the island tomorrow. Sad to say that, but we're gonna make the most of it, so we'll see you in the morning. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good morning. I am so well rested right now, and I'm going out on an adventure. You know, like every time we go somewhere, I have to find some reason to go on a solo adventure just for my own confidence. So I'm going out to find some pancake mix because we are out of pancake mix and the place we were gonna go for breakfast this morning is closed um, and we all really want pancakes. So I'm gonna try to find a store that has pancake mix and hopefully some toppings. The first two stores I've come to are closed because I forgot it's Sunday and so everything opens late or is closed here on Sundays. Um, so I'm going to go a little further and my GPS says there's a grocery store that is open like a couple miles down the road. I actually scratched that. They literally just opened the grocery store as I was sitting in the car talking to you guys. So perfect timing. Woohoo! Got the goods, now let's go home and make some pancakes. Let's see. Ooh, blueberry pancake mix. No, it's plain pancake mix. Oh, I got they excited. Didn't have, I know. <laughs> they didn't have blueberry, um, and the only other one they had had milk in it, so that's the kind we got. Hey, we'll take what we can get. You ready to make some pancakes? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's oh, the pancake yeah. cakes. Oh yeah. There you go. Bell. Oh. Oh, okay. Just a two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Good job. I don't 
so. You wanna try to cook it? Okay. Wait, not yet. Okay. It might not taste good. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Oh no, is that cake batter on your lips? Does it taste bad because it's not cooked yet? Yeah. Yucky. Okay, I'll pour them on, you flip them when it's time. Good teamwork? The stage is really tough, that's why I poured it for you. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Now that you've seen me do it, do you want to do the next batch? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, put the pancakes. Oh, 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 watch it now. Good job. Scoot it back a little. Oh, skill! Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very, very much. I really like peanut butter. I, really I think if I had to choose just one food to eat the rest of my life, it would just be peanut butter. No way. Yep. Really? Yep. Just peanut butter. It's got plenty of protein and fats and it's delicious and it goes on everything. swimming and now I'm detangling Tiana's hair so I really needed to brush it and condition it yesterday but I did it because we were all tired and she was tired um, so now I'm doing it and I don't think I'm gonna style it because she wants her curls out and her curls look so pretty at the beach but I'm just gonna detangle it and condition it so when we do go to the beach it doesn't get like matted or knotted look at because of the shrinkage look how long it really is Oh it's like almost down to her butt without the curls. That's crazy. <laughs> I know. We basically just swam all day and now we are in downtown West Bay. It's the afternoon and it is very lively down here because it's Sunday. So it's like super busy and I think everybody's just hanging out. Um, we're looking for some gelato because amazingly enough, we haven't had any ice cream or gelato on this trip yet. So that's the goal. Uh -huh. Tiana's going to get a little trinket or a toy or souvenir or something. And we're just gonna walk around and enjoy the town on our last day. We finally found ice cream. Well, gelato, but same thing.
came to Harry's for some appetizers and drinks and to enjoy the view. You can actually jump off the second story here, but it's kind of windy and a little cooler today. Um, so we're not going to jump and get all wet while we're eating. But I wanted to try the rice and beans, which is a dish here. It's coconut rice and beans, and it is delicious. And then I got fried plantains because I just love plantains. And we got some french fries, of course, because typical Americans. But everything's been really good. And the cruise is not here today, so the bay is like super chill. Really enjoying it. Our day is coming to an end, so we're gonna enjoy sunset, and then we're actually going to dinner with the people who run this villa. Um, we're really excited about that because John loves to talk real estate, and we love to meet new people in different places. Um, so we are all free tonight. We decided to meet up for dinner. I think it'll be pretty fun. And then we're actually gonna probably just call it a calm night. Not like we usually do anything crazy <laughs> anyway, but um, we have our flight tomorrow in the morning. So I think we'll catch up with you guys in the morning so that we can just have some quality time getting to know our new friends tonight. So we were on our way to get pancakes. It's actually our last morning here. We just left our villa. So we were going to get pancakes and head to the airport. And we went around a car that was like parked in the middle of the road, which is the traffic pattern here. Um, and the, we got kind of close, but I was looking out the window to make sure John didn't hit them. But now they're saying we hit them and the police are here. We didn't hit them. There's no scratch on our car. Maybe they really think we did hit them, but I know we didn't because I was looking with my eyes. Um, so there's a scratch on their car that looks old and they're saying it's from our car, which has no scratches on it. But now we have to stay here because the police are here. Uh, rental car agency is sending a representative and like we're really close to getting on our flight. So this is a little bit chaotic, but we're just trying to get it situated. And honestly, I'm talking to everybody because John's frustrated and I don't want him to give an attitude to them and make it worse. Let me no. The police were assessing everything and like starting to document it. Then the people who said we hit them said, never mind, we don't care. And then they end up leaving. You know, what, happened, so, what happened was they probably saw the crazy on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Home. Little update, so the pancakes were delicious and we just got to the airport to drop off our car, but our flight was delayed until 8 p.m. and it was supposed to be at 1 p.m. today. Um, so the rental car agency was nice enough to give us the car until 4 today at no additional charge. It's 12 right now, so at least we can like go hang out at the coffee shop and we don't have to sit in the airport. But they also said in the airport that they heard the flight might get canceled completely. Um, so we're not really sure what's going to happen. At least we get some more time in Honduras, right? Yeah. yeah. This is why I need to own a private jet, you know? This is the, <laughs> this is the pro. I'm going to set up a GoFundMe. <laughs> Ignore him. All right, so we're still at the coffee shop. We've been here for about four hours now. So the flight that we're supposed to get on that's coming here has still not even left Miami to come here. And the later that gets, the more chance of it just getting canceled becomes more likely. And so our fingers are crossed that it leaves Miami very soon and comes here so that we can get out of here tonight and into Miami to catch our early morning flight tomorrow back to Charleston. Uh, but yeah, it's not looking good right now, but our hopes are still high. I've had uh, probably two and a half coffees now because uh, we're sitting in a coffee shop. We've got nothing else to do. But yeah, this has been interesting and this is all part of travel and I'm, uh, I'm getting tired even though I've drank all those coffees. I'll keep you guys updated. So we have about a 200, 250 yard walk to the airport. It's a little dark out and it's on a main road, but we're going to be okay. This is pretty random, but they have a circus right beside the airport. Of course, Tiana wants to go to the circus now. But we have literally have 15 minutes before our flight.
the flight is pre-boarding, so it looks like we're gonna be taking off at 8.40 as per our scheduled delay. You think we're taking off? I don't even care anymore. <laughs> How are your Pringles for dinner? Pringles and peanut butter and jellies, and I feel like I'm uh, back in sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a cake and all. Yay! Oh We're about to take off for Miami. Um, we'll be getting there around like 12.30, 12.45 a.m. And we don't quite know where we're gonna stay yet, so I think we'll just catch up with you guys when we get there and we figure out our sleeping situation. Right there, where are you gonna sleep? Right there. All right, see you guys in Miami. So I'm feeling like the dad and the husband of the year right now. So about a year, year and a half ago, I learned about signing up for credit cards so that you could get lounge access. And so we got into Miami around 1230 at night and we thought we were gonna have to actually sleep in the airport uh, on the hard floor out there because our next flight's at 5, 530 in the morning. So there's no point in even going to the hotel but my lounge access saved the day. So we got into the Turkish Airlines Lounge, which is actually open 24 hours. And wait until you see this place. We have almost the entire place to ourselves. This they, is amazing. They have vegan food. No way. I got a hummus pepper wrap and lentil soup. <laughs> All right, a little update. It is now around 4 a.m. While that lounge was super nice and it had some of the best lentil soup I've ever eaten, it was freezing cold in there. So Rihanna and I got little to no sleep and baby girl maybe got two, two and a half hours of sleep. So we're all pretty exhausted, but we only have two more flights and we'll be home. Hello, we are back in West Virginia. Somebody's excited. <laughs> <laughs> Delusional stuff from our crazy travel. <laughs> Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth that it's almost five days later and we forgot to close the vlog again. <laughs> so I forgot to close What's going on back there? <laughs> Tiana Haven, show us. Why do you have on a super wide angle lens? Why don't you go ahead and tell them this I? too? No, oh, no, no, leave it. Put it back. Know. Put it back because we're going to go ahead and tell them this too. <laughs> okay. So Rihanna has yet switched cameras again. <laughs> so now we're on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, which is a lot nicer to carry around and stuff. But I just want you guys to know we've been going through a whole dilemma here with Rihanna constantly <laughs> switching cameras. So okay. before we went to Disney, we bought this whole setup and we get home from Disney and then she buys this thing. And so, like, I can't keep up with you. I can't keep up with her. Poor okay, me. let me take the ultra wide off. Oh, that's better. Okay. Okay, you guys, let me tell you about my dilemma. So, um, beep boop, excuse me. Hey, beep boop. Hey, beep boop. We're trying to talk here. <laughs> beep boop. I'm so tired. Beep boop. I think she's out of breath. No. Um, so I bought that gigantic, like, nice camera setup, and I thought, like, I'm gonna become like a real travel vlogger, like Steven Spielberg. Fern Wall Chronicles. Okay. So I was gonna make like these really intricate, like, travel videos. Well, come to find out, I can't do that. You don't know. We might go back to the other camera because it was really nice. But we're hoping this is a happy medium between like better than cell phone quality. It won't be quite the camera quality but a whole lot smaller. We'll show you a picture of it right now. Um, a whole lot smaller and easier to carry around, which makes it easier to film. And uh, so yeah, maybe a happy medium, but probably not. You'll probably, she'll probably switch to a telescope next week. So. Are you guys done with us yet? Yeah. Okay, so we made it home from Roatan. We're getting back on schedule. Tiana Haven! <laughs> Tiana Haven, be quiet! <laughs> look, look, she, doesn't, she doesn't know what this means. You want me to pull this vehicle over? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> she act like she knew what it meant. 
Okay, so camera dilemma aside, um, we are now back home West Virginia and getting back on routine. Tiana has gymnastics tonight. I worked at the hospital today. John worked on real estate today. Um, and we're gonna get back in routine right in time to go travel again, because that's what we love to do. Travel, travel, travel. Hope you enjoyed Roton. We can't wait for our next trip. We can't wait to share the next vlog with you next week. Tiana, oh, do you wanna, do you wanna uh, say back? What? Oh, oh, big news, big news. Can I tell them something? What? We just buy tickets to South Africa. That's all I'm gonna say. Not gonna tell you the date, so the whole You just plans, dropped it like that? I just dropped it like that. So if you stay tuned for the whole video, you get rewarded. See? Yeah. All right, that's all I had to say. Okay, Tiana wants to close the video. Here you go, baby. You gotta say bye. Bye, 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 you, you wanna say bye, see you next week? Bye, see you next week.